Hey, good morning, YouTube. Uh, let's see, it's time for another pumpkin update. Uh, garden update as well. Uh, you can see that stuff's just grown massively. Uh, my cherry tomatoes are are <laughs> completely out of control. I can't really manage them anymore. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, so I'll start off with the pumpkins. Uh, so here is the Big Max. Let's see, it's starting to run over here. Here's the tip. Got a few female blossoms, but um, I've been noticing. I don't know. Oh shoot! It just. I just noticed this. It snapped. Shit. Well, it's all right. There's a secondary vine there. I can train to be the new one. But anyways, um, I've been noticing that these are coming out a little bit deformed, like the the, the parts inside are are not what they should be. Um, even the the flowers, the male flowers. They have, they seem to have both male and female parts, so they don't really have pollen. They're really deformed, so I don't know if this is a, a sterile plant, if I'm even gonna get something out of it. See, I wanna see you guys what I'm talking about. See, all of the flowers look like this. Um, and it's only this plant, the Big Max. So I don't know if I got infected with something or I don't know. I was hoping it would fix itself, but I don't see any change. Uh, and the, the leaves do look a little yellow. So I don't know if, if I'm gonna rip it out or not. But it's this, like I said, it's only this plant. The fairy tales, um, they're uh, they're doing great. You know, they're vining out like crazy. And uh, the leaves look really great. Um, still have an aphid problem. Uh, just can't seem to get rid of them. But now they seem to be infesting mostly the tomatoes. Um, the secondaries want to grow. And the secondaries are putting out tertiary vines. So it's taking me a long time to go through each one. Follow each secondary vine. And chop off with the tertiary vines. So it's... It's a lot of work out here. Oh, there's a female. Okay, and there's that. Here's the other fairy tale. Uh, I'm trying to leave between five and seven secondary vines and uh, cutting off all the rest. Um, otherwise, there's not enough room for for everything here. You know, I, I can I can barely walk through my backyard as it is. And see the the rouge or the cinderella that one's going over here i've you know i've, I've cut off about five or six female blossoms oh, there's another one right there i gotta cut off um two, two, two. Let's see here oh. Oh. that's the connecticut field See, it's working its way over here. And then, oh. There's a, there's one here that I don't know what it got pollinated with. So I'm probably gonna remove it. Uh, yeah, I got another one coming out right here. Mm -hmm, there's the other Connecticut field. And here is the Lakota squash. It did start to vine out, uh, it was just slow. You can see the vine sticking out over here. And I do have two squash growing on there. They don't get very big. I mean, this one will probably get, I don't know, maybe four, four or five more inches in circumference, and that's about it. Uh, there's another one there. And I, I've pretty much been leaving this one alone. Uh, I'll let the bees do the work. Uh, you know pollinating and all that 
but uh yeah it's uh another week or so i probably won't even be able to walk over here uh you see my tomatoes they look like little trees uh you know they're much taller than i am now um those stakes are six foot and um uh I can't manage them when they get too tall so what I did was I chopped off the tops uh, on those over there and then I'll let new I'll let new lead suckers grow out and then I'll you know increase production that way so again that's a uh, black crim big rain uh, not big rainbow uh, red beef steak Cherokee purple and uh, I found something terrifying last night and the day before I found hornworm eggs and uh, luckily I picked them off but that night I found the hawk moths responsible for laying them and uh, I killed one and one got away so I think this is around the time I started seeing them last year so maybe July is is when they show up <clears throat> so I've been carefully screening my plants for any more green eggs uh, you can't miss them they're like little green BBs uh, this is the brandy wine I've already harvested some from here oh there's one I got to cut off uh, some of these had blossom end rot so they didn't look too good and that's because the pot dried out um, I didn't water it for one day and that was enough to dry it out so the tomatoes right now I have to water every single day Yesterday was really hot, so I had to water it twice. So yesterday I gave each plant like three to four gallons. Uh, this is the black crim. Uh, this one's loaded with tomatoes. I don't know if you guys can, can see all those little, all those tomatoes over there. So I got three black crim plants, two in the raised beds, and one in, in the pot right here. You can see some starting to change color and check it out i guess it's true you see how you know the vines by itself the the leaves are going down and curling around the vine kind of like shielding it from the sun so i've heard that somewhere before that you know the tomato plants don't like sun on their stems so they they protect themselves and here we got sun gold you can see i've already been harvesting tons of sun gold cherry tomatoes and my goodness they are delicious they are sweet they taste nothing like a tomato to me they just it's like eating a piece of candy and I could eat a bucket of these things a day <laughs> they're just that damn good and this one you can see that it's just loaded uh, you know I, I got I gotta pick a bunch of these because uh, if I let them go anymore they start splitting and then they don't they don't look good, although they taste good, but... Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, shit. And this thing, yeah, I mean, uh, these things are easily over seven feet tall. You know, they're past the stakes. I don't know if I'm gonna put some twine and, you know, bring it down here and kind of have them go up that way or just cut the tops off and let new growth come out from the bottom. But, uh, you know, uh, these, this tomato has been doing this a lot where it puts out, I call it the two-headed dragon. It, you know, it branches out in, in, in twos. So it puts out tomatoes in one direction and another direction. And it seems to do it in a lot of different places, like, you know, seen here. So I, I'm getting a lot of tomatoes. See, here's another one right here. And they just double down. And I don't know if it's because of the, the fertilizer I use or just because they're, they're healthy or this is what the plant does. But, um, you know, I'll take it. This is a big rainbow. You can see here, you know, it's getting nice sized tomatoes. Uh, this one I've been having to water a lot. Uh, and then these three, uh, we had an unfortunate accident. You know, my daughter loves tomatoes and she came over here and grabbed the whole cluster and ripped it off. And uh, it was hanging on by a little, little tab. So what I did was I kind of taped it back up uh, to kind of keep sealing moisture and then I used a velcro strap to tie it in place in two different locations then I put this right here to kind of hold up the weight 
and uh, another one right here. You see, hopefully it heals, or at least it helps vine ripen the tomatoes because they were so green. Um, this is the other cherry tomato, and man, this thing has been giving me so many problems with aphids. I mean, uh, you could all of the stems, the leaves are just crawling with with aphids. It was unreal. Uh, it was terrible. And uh, I've been spraying the crap out of these things with uh, neem oil and soap. Uh, oh, what else? Yeah, my dragon fruit is putting out a lot of growth. You can see all those little shoots starting to grow, but I, I gotta cut them off. <laughs> I wanna let only, only these grow up here, let it crawl this way up. This is the condor dragon fruit. So it's taken a long time, but it finally rooted, so I can't pull it out. So I know that it's growing. Over here, we got my Vietnamese white. It's also rooted, I can't pull it out, so that's good. Here is the purple haze, dragon fruit. Oh, oh, purple haze. My sister put these little things here, but I can't see them because they're dark. I mean, and, and they're, really, they're really thin, so it's like you look at it, you can't really tell they're there. Ah. So here's this one. And uh, interesting enough, these things put out uh, aerial roots that reach out and grab onto whatever they're growing on. So this, I, I can't even move it. I can't move it. <laughs> it's latched on with these roots. They grab on and just they just climb. And which is great because that's what I wanted to do. So that's the dragon fruit. Uh, here's one of my uh, red beefsteak clones. You know, it's doing really well. I mean, it was like, it was like this. It's a, uh, what's that? Cherokee purple clone. So you can see, it's starting to put out a lot of blooms. And every once in a while, I just kind of give the, I give it a little shake to hand pollinate. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get over here. Sorry if the video's long, guys. I just wanted to give you an update on everything that's going on. You see the marigolds that I planted over here? These are the ones that I started from seed. So they're doing good. Look at this one. And that's the one I bought from the store. <laughs> you see the difference. So here is the big rainbow, the new one that I put. So I, what I did was I cloned it and I ripped out the old one that was here because it looked diseased. And then I planted this one. So far so good. And then there's the other red beefsteak clone. And let's see up here. This is the other black, excuse me, black creme. And this thing's loaded with tomatoes. Oh, you see some nice ones down there. See that? Ooh. And uh, I don't know when I was tying this one up, you know, I had to reach in there, and uh, a spider bit me on the arm. Uh, I felt the burning sensation, and then I, you know, had a little raised bump, and I saw the spider. Uh, so yeah, definitely not cool. I hate spiders. I'm sure, a lot of people do too, especially when they bite you. Um, other than that, I think that's it, guys. Sorry for my rambling. Um, I just want to get over here. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see all of those tomatoes over there. I've already harvested a couple. Some of the Cherokee purples are starting to ripen. But, uh, I've got plenty of tomatoes. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to harvest some of these sun golds, eat a lot of them, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.